Buongiorno. A few nights ago, Italy's former deputy prime minister paid a visit to an Italian Tunisian family home, asking to be let in. The premise, he said, to find out if the family's youngest son was a drug dealer. But the humiliation of a family targeted over a rumor was live streamed over Matteo Salvini's social media page, without any evidence to support the allegation. It is a tactic that has suited the League Party leader's quest to clickbait his way to popularity. If there was ever a time where the League could dominate Italy, it would be now. With even some familiar faces, such as former Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi, also lending his support. <laughs> Historically, Emilio Romagna has always been left wing. It was a base for the resistance during fascist Italy, and it's proud of that tradition. But right wing parties have been trying to break that. Long live Emilia Romagna, long live freedom, long live democracy, long live the Liga. Crucial to the League's success, he will be capturing these left wing partners. Now, if they manage to win here, Matteo Salvini is convinced that it could pave the way for him to become Prime Minister of Italy. That would usher in an enormous seismic change here in the political landscape. Strong on slogans, but little offered in the way of detail. Yet against the odds, the League have powered through in the opinion polls, putting them just behind the centre-left candidate. But it has not gone unchallenged. Pushing back has been the phenomenon of the so-called sardine movement. Left-wing activists, fearful of a far-right takeover, have been loudly voicing their opposition at the direction Italy is taking. For the sardine movement, the rise of Salvini and his politics ushers in a warning from the past. This type of populism has the same roots as fascism. We were all resigned to their narrative because there wasn't an alternative. But from our first demonstration in Bologna, we managed to cause a reaction all over Italy. The sardine activists hope that they can usher in a new wave of politics that focuses on dealing with people's grievances rather than using populist tactics if they can take on the might of a hard-right party that has seen its support swell over the past two years. You could easily see its power consolidated across the country. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Bologna, Italy.